Thank you, Cheryl, and welcome everybody. It's a fabulous day in Queensland. The sun is shining. It wasn't yesterday, but it is today. So. Um, so on behalf of MND Australia, I welcome you to the seventh National Motor Neurone Disease Conference. A few weeks ago, Carol Burks, who everybody knows Carol, um, sought confirmation from me whether I was going to do the conference welcome. So at that time, I thought about what I would say in context of the conference theme of together, participation, partnerships and progress. Um, I have to say, a few intelligent sort of thoughts and a few useless thoughts sort of rambled through my mind in terms of, uh, in terms of what I will say uh, as part of my welcome. But what I decided to do was I won't do anything until closer to, uh, to, today, to today and I'll start putting sort of pen to paper. But then something happened and that's something that made me think very differently about, about the conference themes. And that's something was that incredible phenomenon known as the Ice Bucket Challenge. Um, I have to say it's been absolutely amazing the past few weeks. We've gone from, from just sort of doing things that we do in our, our daily lives um, to all of a sudden being subsumed by this, this great you know, social media global awareness uh, in relation to both MND and, and ALS. Um, and it made me sort of think, well, you know, this is, it's, it's just been incredible in terms of millions of people across, uh, no, not only across Australia, but also the world, who have got a greater understanding of, of MND and ALS. And, uh, and many, many people uh, undertook the Ice Bucket Challenge themselves, and I know that many of you did, and some did it more, more than once. So congratulations to some people who, like Shu, who did it three times. <laughs> Um, the Ice Bucket Challenge, of course, is translated in increased uh, donations with, uh, as of last Friday or Thursday, um, over $2 million raised in Australia through about 47,000 donations. I've been contacted by, uh, by several people, um, including, I have to say, a very perplexed board member of a, of a very uh, well-known cancer organisation in, in Australia asking how did we do it? Um, and I wish we could take credit for, for, um, you know, for saying, well, we actually thought up the idea and, and you know, we influenced the whole world in terms of, in terms of this particular um, um, event. But um, of course, we can't take that credit. But there was certainly, we can take credit in terms of you know, meeting the challenges here in Australia in regard to, uh, to, to the interest around the Ice Bucket Challenge. Um, in fact, when Rod Harris, God bless Rod. Of, 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 where is Rod? There he is, of, of MND Victoria challenged me to do the Ice Bucket Challenge. Um, I thought at that time it was all a bit of, bit of a gimmick. And initially I was happy just to donate some money to MND Victoria for care and support. Uh, and I threw a bit of money towards the Research Institute for, for research. Uh, but I wasn't going to do the Ice Bucket Challenge uh, because, you know, as I said, I thought it was a gimmick. Um, so I started to realise actually very quickly that it was not just a gimmick, but it was, you know, it was something that was just extraordinary in terms of people's involvement. I thought, well, geez, I better do it uh, as, as well. And so when I did the, the Ice Bucket Challenge, you know, I, was, I was one of, of, of thousands of people across Australia to do so, um, and that was to participate. And, and that's the fir first element of the conference theme for today. Several organisations and individuals have approached MND Australia uh, and I'm sure some of the state associations and, and, uh, and others offering their help and, and uh, expertise you know, around sort of things like digital fundraising strategies, commercial airtime packages and a whole range of different things. And I loose, loosely label this as, as partnerships. And finally, regarding the third element of the conference today uh, in terms of the theme is progress. There is now more hope with the increased awareness and donations that we as, as part of the MND community can provide even better care and support for people living with MND and hopefully progress closer to better understanding the cause of MND, develop effective treatments and ultimately a cure for MND. I know I have bastardised, and you can think of any, any other terms, but I, I know I've bastardised the conference theme of, of together partnership, uh, participation partnerships uh, progress. However, uh, the, the Ice Bucket Challenge has, for me, epitomised the unpredictability of our cause and the need for us to quickly adapt and be transparent and accountable, and more importantly, ensure a longer-term sustainable approach around awareness raising and fundraising to support you and your work in supporting people living with MND. Today, we will hear from several colleagues, including keynote speakers, uh, Ray Curry, Rob Heads Henderson, 
David Oliver and Shu No, who will speak on MND scientific research, advances in best practice care and symptom management, community services and palliative care collaborations, and initiatives related to caring for carers and children. I'm sure you'll have a stimulating day of learning and sharing. I thank the Conference Steering Committee of Cheryl Miller of MND Queensland, Gina Savolis of MND New South Wales, Julie McConnell of MND Victoria, Maeve Egan of MND WA, and Carol Burks of MND Australia, supported by Rachel Ritz, Susan Fallon, and whoever else I've I don't know who was involved, but apologies if I haven't mentioned your name, for, for, who've had responsibility for putting today's conference together. And to you and your colleagues who are unable to be here today, I thank you on behalf of MND Australia for your commitment, energy and support of people living with motor neurone disease. Thank you.